Hello there everybody, this is Yus here and today I have for you an NU battle in generation 1 against uh, Marky Boy. Uh, this battle, well, I tried to use some different stuff like <laughs> War Turtle, Charmeleon, because um, you know, we've been using a lot of the same Pokemon over and over again, I mean not using the current like proper stuff is gonna make it challenging, like using those not fully evolved Pokemon, but yeah, like, you have to make it different sometimes. But anyways, I'm gonna hit the sleep powder first time, he's gonna wake up instantly. But luckily the second one isn't gonna miss, and uh, the Psychic is gonna get a special drop, which is surprising, because, yeah, whatever. Anyways, I'm gonna go for the Psychic on his incoming Electrode, I'm gonna switch into Geodude to prevent this thing to do anything. He's gonna predict a Ground-type to come in, and he's gonna go into his Seeking. So I'm gonna switch into my War Turtle, he's gonna go for Blizzard, but luckily, no hacks happened, so he's gonna go for Double Edge, but I expected either the switch or him staying in, so I went to take my chance with Blizzard, didn't happen, but the Body Slam is, in fact, gonna get the Paralysis, but knowing Marky Boy, he does have Rest on everything, so that's not gonna make a big difference, so I'm gonna lift the Double Edge, gonna rest up, and as expected, there is his own Rest, so... This turn, I'm gonna burn one sleep turn, and he's gonna decide to do the same thing. I believe we're both gonna decide to stay in and actually wake up. There's the blizzard, try to take my chance again, but didn't happen. I'm gonna be faster than him from now on, because in Gen 1, when you paralyze something, even though you use rest and heal your paralysis, your speed is still lowered, so... That's a glitch for you, but he's gonna get a crit! There you go again, with the hacks. My war turtle did absolutely nothing, unfortunately, so I'm gonna send in... Weezing just went for the safe Thunderbolts this turn, but it was too predictable and he, he went into his Onyx, so I'm gonna go into my Butterfree. He's gonna miss his Bind, I'm gonna send in my Seedra. Oh yeah, Seedra, yeah. And uh, he's gonna switch, expecting the Water type probably, and go in into his Electrode. A lot of mind games going on, there's my Geodude, and uh, yeah, there's another Water type that he has. Water types just dominate. Absolutely dominates Enyu, but there's the blizzard from Omanites. It's gonna hurt the Butterfree big time. I do have the Mega Drain, just went for it, but he, I guess he predicted it and went back into his Electrode. Uh, I've been going back into Geodude every time, so maybe this time he's gonna predict me to stay in, and he did. So, yeah, Geodude just shuts down Electrode, but there's the Body Slam. Luckily, it's gonna paralyze the Machamp, and um. Uh, I'm gonna send in my Weezing, unfortunately he did went for Fire Blast, but luckily uh, the burn didn't happen, because you know, in Gen 1, Fire Blast has the same burning chances as Scald, so you don't want to mess with that too much. So I'm gonna go for my own Fire Blast, in comes Onyx, does a decent chunk, luckily for him, I didn't score the burn. Uh, I actually decided to stay in, because I expected him to go for the Bind, so I'm gonna switch into my um, Geodude. And then I'm actually going for another Body Slam in case he decides to switch out. I could have switched out right here, going back into my Seedra, but I expected him to go back into his Electrode right here. So I stayed in, but unfortunately he went into his Seeking. So now he's gonna have the opportunity to go for Rest. <laughs> unfortunately, yeah. So I'm gonna expect either Electrode or Onyx to come back, so I'm gonna go for Sludge. Maybe score a Poison or something, but he went... He went back into his uh, Machamp, and uh, yeah, got the paralysis, fully paralysis there, and a crit, that was lucky, but yeah, he's gonna preserve his Machamp, uh, Sludge didn't get the poison, and Weezing is just keeping us alive in this battle, even though we do have two f not fully evolved Pokemon, which is like, awful, but anyways, um, gonna go into my Seedra, he's gonna switch into his uh, Machamp, Gonna go for Blizzard, and in comes the Seeking. So, yeah. Um, he's still asleep, so I'm gonna go into, his, into Weezing. I'm gonna expect the switch, predicting my Thunderbolt. He goes into his uh, Onyx, and Fire Blast, again, did not score the burn. So, that's quite unfortunate. Uh, I'm scared of this thing, because it can explode. I could have went into Geodude, and he actually exploded right there. I, I didn't expect him to actually explode that quickly. That was insane. But luckily, Onyx doesn't have the best attack, so I'm get, I'm actually able to take it with my Seedra. So, uh, Seeking is gonna wake up. Um, 
I'm actually gonna go for Stun Spore because this thing is a threat. And unfortunately, he is able to hit his Blizzard, and that Butterfree is gonna go Al Carrer. So, now that Onyx out of, is out of the way, I can safely go for Thunderbolts, I guess. Um, but I think... Um, no, yeah, I remember that he still has Electrode, but at some point of this battle, I just completely, absolutely forgot, 100% forgot that he has Electrode on his team. Uh, Thunderbolt on the Omanyte is uh, to a KO. Um, I guess he also has a not fully evolved Pokemon on his team. While we have three <laughs> Geodude, War Turtle, and Charmeleon. But yeah. He's gonna expect Geodude really well. I just played it safe right there. Surf isn't gonna do much to the Seedra. And um, I can just go for Hydro Pump because it's neutral. And uh, he's gonna expect it well. He's gonna go back to Seeking. And uh, I'm just gonna go for rest, because you just have to preserve this thing in a good amount of health, because Seedra is just gonna be really cru really crucial here. So I'm thinking about burning a sleep turn, uh, even though I'm getting absolutely destroyed by double edge. Th that's why Seeking, I feel like it's a little bit better, because he does have a good um, physical stat, so he can damage things with double edge. But yeah, uh, I'm gonna go into Seek uh, Weezing. And I'm actually gonna go into. Uh, I'm actually gonna go for Thunderbolt that turn, and it's just gonna destroy the um, Omanite. Yeah, but at this point of the battle, I'm gonna go into Geodude and just explode because you know I just completely forgot that he still has his Electrode. I have no idea why. It just completely slipped my mind. I have no idea why, but unfortunately, that's gonna cost me. So, anyways. I'm gonna go into Charmeleon, uh, Body Slam score the Paralysis, but yeah, missed Fire Spin, he's gonna get fully paralyzed. And I'm uh, gonna have a free switch into my Weezing, and then I'm just gonna go for Thunderbolt. And I believe, I, I thought that he only had this thing left, the Wigglytuff and the Seeking, but then I saw Electrode, I was like, what? I already took down this Pokemon, where did it come from? But yeah, as I explained, it completely slipped my mind, and that's just... Uh, I don't even know. I I I just don't even know. Has, has that ever happened to you? Thinking that you already killed something, but it was still around? I don't even know about. By the way, this Charmeleon was supposed to be called like three dollar signs, but as you can see the game just just couldn't couldn't do it. But anyways, I tried to spam uh fire spin until he died or until he's at the range of my body slam, but unfortunately he's gonna miss and he's gonna rest and uh there you go, the Seeking being a little bitch again, and uh, we can't do anything about it until, unless we try to freeze it, that didn't happen. We're gonna keep trying to go for it, because why not, but we got critted, and um, the crits absolutely destroyed both of my water types. And um, it's gonna be unfortunate, so my last Pokemon is Weezing, I'm gonna go for Thunderbolts, try to play it safe, maybe... Score a paralysis on the electrode, but that didn't happen. There's the Thunderbolts. It's also gonna get a crit on the Charmeleon. And uh, my last Pokemon is Weezing, which is gonna die to explosions. So, yeah, that's gonna be the game. Uh, good game, Market Boy. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a wonderful day, and allons-y.